Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, giving me them big old thumbs up, sending me your nice comments. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook. I'll happily try to answer that. And remember, most of all, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. The reason I didn't make video of me actually removing the tubes that you're about to watch is because the Y pipe was actually split and I didn't think I was going to make a video, but I think the video turned out pretty well. I'll give you some really good tips and tricks. So if you're not going to watch the whole video, at least turn the volume down and let the whole thing play from front to back. What I've gotten in the back of my 3.5 2005 Kia Sorento there's a broken Y pipe and what I thought was neat and why they made this video was I could get this part number from Dorman and it's actually the Y pipe that I need. What happened was is in the back of the engine down here by the intake there's a bunch of coolant leaking and it's because this just disintegrated. You could see how it disintegrated up in there and I have little pieces of it. These are the what didn't fall down and I didn't lose in the back. You can see how much of it just totally disintegrated, like I said. And this set inside there like this. The very few visuals that I can't show you, I can explain to you very well. But for the most part, this is going to cover it all. This hose right here comes off right down there. You can see where it fits in right there. Then it works its way down below the intake. This hose right here actually came off the heater and this hose connects like this. Now the one hose that I can't remove that runs underneath the intake connects to this pipe right here and it's broken too. I'm gonna crush that with a pair of uh, pliers or something because I can't get down there and I didn't want to take off the intake and I'm gonna try to do this. I won't post the video if I couldn't do it without removing the intake and I'll let you know, but I'm gonna stick that on there and if you have a coolant leak in your Kia and it's coming from the rear, more than likely this disintegrated just like mine. Okay, to get at the tube that we can't get to, I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna go right from underneath here with my left arm, go underneath the intake, down right through here and work in this area right here with my pliers to break the broken plastic apart. And then with my right arm, I'm gonna reach down right back here, and I probably can't show you this from this angle. And then I'm gonna work on that hose right there. Now with my pliers on there, I can just quite simply break the plastic and then I'll take a pick tool and clean out the broken plastic from the inside of the hose. Okay, because my Y pipe was broken, I believe that this is the proper orientation. I know I have my lines going on there and it, and it sits in there just like this. This comes up and connects to your radiator overflow canister right there. And then we've got our clamps on there and I've got them on there in such a way that I believe I could loosen them and clock the hoses differently if I have to. This hose probably should be parallel with the Y. Mine might be kicked up a little bit, so we might have to move that a little bit so it's square and it comes straight out this way.
it definitely looks like that my Y goes over the top of this wiring loom, but underneath this other heater hose, because right here in between them is that hose that we can't see on the back of the intake. Now I'm going to insert this from the top here and I'm gonna to have to push my hoses around stuff eventually, but I wanna take the tip, my forwardmost tip, and I wanna get it in between the heater hose and this electrical connector here. So right below it, but in between it. Okay, so I have my tube down inside there. I'll try to give you all a view. See how it's underneath there? I haven't hooked up my heater hose yet, but I can. Now I need to get my tube shoved into the intake tube that's coming off the bottom that's not visible. Now I've got my hose inserted into the other hose that was coming off my intake. I'm gonna slip on my heater hose and I'm gonna run this hose underneath here. If you still left here sitting like mine, I'm gonna put a clamp on it, plug it into there, and it's just about all done once we put some coolant inside it and move our clamp up to our heater hose and get that all the way on there. I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers to put that on there or hose pliers. With my hose clamp tool, I am going to reinstall my hose clamp. Sometimes removal and installation is done with a 45 degree pair of hose clamp pliers. Just make sure that it's seated on there properly. Now we're gonna install the hose clamp onto our radiator reservoir tank and tighten it down with an eight millimeter if you're using the same kind of hose clamp I am. Okay, so we're gonna take our extension, we're gonna go over the top and we're gonna get down in there on our hose clamp and we're gonna tighten up our hose clamp to our last hose. Okay, so with my ratchet down there, and you can kind of see it, I put my extension and my socket in there. I actually had my ratchet head off of there so I could weave it in between the two heater hose lines. And then with my fingertips, I felt where the edge of the hose was, and I pushed the hose clamp and held it during the time I was tightening it down so it was centered on there and I don't have any leaks. Sorry I couldn't make video of that for you guys. It's just one of them areas in the car that it's just very, very difficult to show. So we got the whole thing all put back together, got the coolant burped out of it. Old Jim made himself a little adapter there. I did not do that. If the video was helpful and you liked it, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, giving me them big old thumbs up, reaching out to me on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. Remember, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. It's only a matter if you want to. Don't be the next to them. Be the first to you. God bless and have the best of days.